Hello and welcome back to my program's dev stream of RP1 where finally starting at the new late time rather than the new super late time. Um, let's see what we can do. And let's see. So uh, I have to admit that while there's a bunch of things that I can complain about uh, in terms of gym code. The resource consumer thing was not that. That was actually that's a bug in somebody else's code. Plausibly, I don't know whether I wrote that or not. Anyway, um, so stock KSP module RCS doesn't reset its list of consumed resources during onload. It sets it in on awake, which is really weird. Um, so when real fuel sets the new resource type, um, it doesn't update the consumed resources. So what was going on was when I loaded that craft that had the four little RCS jets that were set to helium, uh, the iResource consumer interface still thought that they were set to nitrogen. So it was claiming that they couldn't get any nitrogen. Uh, I fixed that in RF, and I'll release RF at some point. Uh, so now we can see that uh, there's no longer any design concerns. However, if we go ahead and stretch this a little bit, we now do have a design concern, which is untooled parts. The vessel has an untooled part. So should be able to gradually add more design concerns uh, and hopefully gradually convince people to start using this thing rather than the old lesson of totally ignoring everything it says because everything it said was wrong. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all that. Okay, so I think where things left off was uh, we finally have a use for our small launch complex. That's going to need controllable probes. This just needs a solid kick motor. Wait, didn't we just do that contract? Yeah. How many times can you do it? weird. I would have expected you could only do it once. Let's find out. Max completions 2. Doesn't say that anywhere. Let me add it to where's the tab that has the issues. It's Kerbal. 
Cataclysm. That's Text Mesh Pro sprites that I was looking at. I have way too many windows open. There we are. Ah. Uh, hey there. Hello. Good to okay. have you on. Ah, huh? sorry, good, what? Good to have you on. Oh, thanks. Good to be here. Yeah, it's been it's been a bit since I was actually streaming for more than five minutes at a reasonable so, like I was gonna say at a reasonable time of night, but this is not a reasonable okay. time of night. Oh well, so it's, uh, it's better than uh, your usual, I guess. When yeah. I check the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So I've noted that issue. Uh, I'm hearing background like television noise or something. I'll shut that off. Uh, okay. That's what that was. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how badly do I need the confidence? I need the confidence somewhat badly. But uh, so one of the things that I was mentioning uh, last night briefly, um, mm -hmm. which is relevant which is that um okay, i need to pick another contractor and i feel like none of the options are actually good um so what's not good like there's a lot of flight tuned options like this one is less it's like plus 10 to matsai and minus 10 to rocketry this is flight focused. That's nukes, which I don't need yet. This is. Who do you minus... currently have? Sorry? I have rocket dynamo. Who are you? Okay. Which is plus 5% to rockets, 10% to hydrolocks, and minus 10% stage combustion, which I'm not going to use anyway. Aerojet. Um... Oh, that's interesting. Heh. That's a bug I should fix. Um, Aerojet is plus 10% to really an orbital rock tree, but it's minus 10% to Hydrox. So they basically would even out in that case. And I'd still get these boosts, but I don't want to cancel out my hydrogen boost. Uh, OKB1, OK I think, is is underpowered. It's 11%, which I think was supposed to be 10%. Um, speed increase to integration, to like vessel integration and rollout and everything. But minus 10 speed decrease to all research, <laughs> which seems horrifying. Yeah, that's <laughs> that, yeah, that seems underpowered. I guess it depends if you're paying more for researchers or engineers, if you're wildly unbalanced for that's sword true. engineers. That's true. Uh, we're not flying planes anymore. This is the only one that is tempting, is OKB-52, which is faster efficiency gain and faster stations research, but uh, hiring costs 5% more. Yeah, hiring cost is not really significant. Yeah. Yeah, OKB-456 has a terrible penalty to Hydrolox, and 276 has a penalty to regular rocket research. So, as you can see, I'm feeling like there's, there really isn't a strong option right now to pick. That one that was uh, minus to staged wasn't suitable for you? This is I already took him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about the second slot. Yeah, maybe there just needs to be more contractors available. Yeah, I think so. Well, also, like, a lot of these are aircraft contractors rather than... 
Yeah, maybe Pap should consider, I don't know, like some of the research labs like JPL or something like that. Yeah, that would that would be cool. Also, like uh I've noticed there isn't there's a lot of plane focused stuff, but there's nothing focused on capsules, either capsule research or capsule integration speed. Um so like McDonnell or um North American would be interesting for that. Um, there's yeah, there's nobody electronics focused. There's yeah, there's a lot of options there. Uh, but the the reason I went in here was so I'm looking along at the confidence costs for various things. So that's 750. That's fine. This is 3,000. That makes sense. Uh, geostationary 1350. Crude lunar exploration. 36,000 with 12k for normal. Like, how am I going to get 12k confidence? Um, that's a good question. I mean, they were tuned based off of the total monetary reward, so it's just a flat, uh, you know, like comparison yep. between how much money that gives you versus and yeah, and but based on the optional stuff. contracts, like, there's a limited amount of confidence you can actually gain. Yep, that's fair. And like there's some from science, but I'm not gonna get uh I'm not even gonna get six thousand science. Like even at one to five with rep, I would have to get uh like twenty four hundred rep, which I guess I could do, but from only from optionals, that seems hard. And I would have to get it within the next few years. Because well, I thought crude, uh, some of the crude orbit stuff gave pretty significant rep for doing the optionals there. Have you looked at those, the contracts? Uh, let's see. I'm not saying that we shouldn't tune it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but let's look at it to see if there's... Yeah. Also, it'd be real nice to mark which contracts are optional. Oh, I guess I'll know because because um, it'll say over here with the rewards. So first rendezvous is, oh, it's not generated yet, so you can't tell what the rewards are. Well, I can check the spreadsheet, see if yeah. they're tuned. I think I'm going to forego this second animal flight because it's not, it gives me some confidence, but it doesn't give me a ton of confidence. And I want the applicants from, from completing first crude orbit. So optional contracts for orbit are uh, 150, 200, and 250 for a uh, one, two, and three person orbit. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to get the three-person orbit because the three-person orbit... Like, you're not going to have a capsule that will give you a three-person orbit until you're already doing crude lunar. Unless you're okay. doing things very strangely. So fine, let's... So you'd have to do 12 Gemin Geminis to get 2400? Yeah, that's pretty harsh. That's, yeah. Although, I mean, that's assuming that's your only source of rep of confidence. Mm -hmm. Uh, Venus flyby and Mars flyby don't have rewards. <laughs> they oh, award <yeah>. one rep. <laughs> uh, but they wouldn't give confidence anyway. It looks like somebody blanked out the those rewards. They're sitting. They have yellow in the spreadsheet. I don't know. I thought I tuned those, but uh, I don't know. That's something to fix. Yeah. yeah, you're getting close to the edges of where stuff is breaking anyway. Yeah.
Okay, so yeah, I think one one test flight is enough. Have you been doing normals or slows mostly for your previous programs? Uh, so I didn't have speed until I selected. Um, I think that this was the maybe the first, I think crude orbit and I, no, I think crude I think early interplanet probes was the first program that I selected that had a speed. I think everything else was before I implemented speed. Gotcha. So I actually would have spent more confidence than that. But I also wasn't gaining yeah, confidence at the start. But I wasn't doing that many optionals either. So yeah, I prob oh no, actually some of that is from when there was a bug about confidence from science. So I probably have something like fifteen hundred to two K more confidence than I should have. Okay. Well I certainly don't mind tuning down the amount of confidence things require. Uh that feels smarter than trying to tune up stuff. Um maybe we can tune down normals a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think the the issue is, from my perspective, the issue is going to be that uh, total funding is a poor proxy for confidence cost because um, the confidence cost is actually with respect to the programs before that in some ways. And it's also dependent on the program length. Which is to say, like, the longer the program, the earlier you're going to take it. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, uh, Zombiezilla, this is this is Maximal, who was lead designer on KSP oh. for a while, although sadly we didn't overlap there, uh, and has been contributing a bunch of stuff to RP1 for a long time, and has been done, did a lot of the design work on the, the program stuff. I mean, on the other hand, the total funds delivered is kind of a it's a good approximation of the benefit of spending the confidence because you'll get those funds sooner. Yes. Yes, although like I think it's still mediated by program length. So because like Total funding in isolation doesn't tell you too much. Like the yearly funding is, I think, more of a proxy for that. Oh, I need to set the. That's what I. Okay. You had another to do. Um. Did you program the confidence costs formulaically, or did you implement the values from the spreadsheet as tuning values? Uh, I believe PAP just wrote the tuning values. Okay. Just so like we can we can change them as much as we want. Although it does make blanket changing things harder. Yeah, I was thinking but, of just blanket changing stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna warp. And I am just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna forego that confidence and just accept the first orbit. Wait. Why can I accept that contract at the same time? Oh no, I had this, right, I had this, yes, I said that last night. I, th I think it's a trap. Like, you can't complete both of them at the same time. And if you do the other yeah. one first, it'll fail. So I think you just shouldn't be able to accept it. Sorry, which what? So I accepted first, first crude orbit, but this mm -hmm. orbital test flight with an animal is still available. 
Yeah. Like I think that's I think we should just fix that. Uh, I agree. Okay, so we're just about ready to start uh, manufacturing our Thors. Okay. Oh, I should look at the mission requirements first. So this needs a hundred units of NavSat. This needs 80 units of ComSat, but with kick motors, whereas this only needs one kick. And this is basically unachievable with the tech we have now. So, oh, but 100 nav, I think, goes in a, yeah, a 45 degree orbit. So the delta V requirement is actually higher. But we're unconstrained on Apogee, which is relevant. Oh, I have that, which is just barely controllable. So I could use that as the weather satellite, which will feel super stupid, but it would work. Ah, uh, so what I actually want is This has the. Yes. I think for testing purposes, we should just modify the rep and and um, science multipliers rather than retune everything. Okay. I mean, it doesn't feel like the. Basically, the reason I brought up crude lunar is because it doesn't feel like there are other things are that out of line. But you haven't actually played against any of them. <laughs> I mean, you only took one one speed based thing, didn't you? Uh, I me I'm trying to remember whether I whether I spent it on crude orbit and early lunar as well. I think I might have, or I might have taken the normal before that. I forget. Um, okay. I think I I think I did actually spend that, but um. Yeah, I'll see whether there's a there's a confluence graph. Uh, can't get any better avionics than that. Yeah, so we don't have access to deep space did spend it on one thing. Uh, I've got your graph open. Oh, okay. Did I like literally just spend it then? Uh, it looks like in April of 1959 you took uh, Interplanet. Interplanet. Yeah, so I've now spent it on two things then. 
because I okay. took targeted satellites. Okay. You only started earning confidence in June of 1958. Yep. But then, yeah, you got a whole bunch for I don't know what. Yeah, that was the bug with science. And then you didn't earn very much at all afterwards, so yeah. I guess you weren't, weren't doing optionals for a while. Well, there weren't optionals. Fair. That is another thing to consider whether we're, we should find optionals. It feels like every program should have at least a couple of optionals that you yeah. can do something with. Well, I can understand that like the probe ones are harder. That's all right. I'm going to have to tool. Just make JFK a leader, and he'll cut the confidence cost for lunar programs in half. I mean, it is a it is an argument for me actually taking leaders who will increase my confidence output. the antenna on this thing. Comms. It's enabled. It's on the right tech level. Okay. And I have access to SM2 now. How nice. Okay, so there's 100 units of NAVSAT, and an Altair, and there we go. And let's try variant, where's three to four? One thing we should There's consider is maybe. Sorry? We should consider. It might make sense to have some diminishing returns on the science multiplier for confidence. It's a little hard to balance, you know, like early science, which is pretty yep. small, versus the, like, you know, 50,000 that you pile up at the end of the game. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I think that makes sense. But on the other hand, it's kind of nice to have a linear multiplier. Maybe just have like some sort of step curve. Think about that. Like, you know, have the multiplier be three yep. per point for the first thousand points and then two per point for the next 10,000, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, apparently we're capable of sending this to the moon. So, I guess I'm going to use a smaller kick motor. This is for GEO? No, this is for Navsat with a 300 kilometer perigee. <laughs> okay. Really don't need that much. I guess I can just have a baby sergeant. Oh, I also don't need the decoupler. Okay, that's clearly enough delta V. Okay, seems fine. So, engineer report says, what doesn't it like? Wait, why does it think we're 4.9 meters wide? That is deeply confusing. Huh, reloading it fixed it. That's fine. Anyway, uh, this seems fine. And the report says we have untooled parts, as expected. So let's tool them. That's pretty expensive, but worth it. And I guess I should sim this before I just straight up build it. Although I'm really reasonably confident about it. And then I can do the same thing for Sat. Should add some retros too. Given I have all the Delta V in the world. See if I remember the craft settings for this. Point six five feels aggressive, but is probably okay. And this should be a half second.
Uh, it's about to get dark because we're launching at 7.30 p.m. Stages on. Stop at stages on set, but that's fine because we have way more Delta V than we need. Are using smooth cone rockets as often as I'm seeing them now, days from you? Uh, it's because I wanted to... Basically, the um, I didn't yet have the branch of our tank... Well, and PAP hadn't yet made the branch of our tanks that let you scale... Um, noses. And I wanted to I wanted to replicate the way Thor lo actually looked. Gotcha. Wait, how did I lose burn time? There. Okay, so this is going to get a mite toasty. Definitely getting a little bit toasty. Yeah, I could have an even cheaper time to orbit if I allowed free attach, but... Okay, so almost a kilometer per second left. In fact, there's more left than there is on the baby sergeant.
Oh, snuff. Yeah, okay. All right, that's perfectly successful. So we can build one of you. Uh, only difference being that I do want to add retros. from crude flights are you uh my next launch is gonna be the first orbit oh nice yeah i've already launched uh a suborbital test flight that happened to be orbit and then an animal test flight gotcha um because i literally didn't have a human rated launch complex except my <laughs> orbital class launch complex so turns out Wait, why did... Oh. Random. And this gets to be... 2 to 1, and that looks fine. Okay, so having retros cost us 30 meters per second. Entirely from the dry mass. Oh, no, it's also because... Yeah, mostly from the dry mass, less from the actual. Seems fine. Okay, that gets built, and then let's do the same thing, but for comms. Okay, I actually don't have a good intuition of whether that's enough delta V or not. Let's look at what the requirements are. First nav's at 100 units, 45 degrees. We, yeah, so that's fine. First ComSat needs to go to 35 degrees, 850, 4500. Uh, let me just quickly calculate this out uh, from 150 by 150 to 4500. So that's 922 meters per second additional past circular 
minimum circular. And then rays from one fifty to eight fifty. That gonna cost. One fifty. Okay, so very little for the kick, but a lot for the rest of it. Oh, I still have to do the thing where transferring engineers between launch complexes isn't free. Right. Yeah, the the build time thing is like I get why, but it just it feels for some reason it feels like an inadequate solution. Um yeah, it's understandable. I don't know that uh we've got a better solution though. So. Right, that's the problem. But I mean, we can sit on it until we do have a better solution. Yeah. Yeah. May just be that. Yeah, I don't know. No good answer. All right, so let's check and see if we can do the. We can do this. Thirty-five degrees, forty-five hundred, and. So I think the answer is going to be no. I think what we're actually going to need to do is something like this, our usual approach for these things. Okay, just barely fits. And let's look at the delta V involved. Yeah, it looks like we can just barely achieve orbit, probably. Uh, no, we can't, because we're going to 35 degrees. But we've got a lot of delta V here, so it's fine. Who cares? Um, like the correct solution here is an Altair, actually. It's a little longer. Yeah, the reliability on this is darn good, so that's fine. What is it confused about? Why is it why is it so confused about width?
That's super, that's a weird bug. Uh, anyway, let's try the sim. You can sort these couriers on the spyware by uh, start date, like mm -hmm. real world start date. Uh, I'm not sure that information is available. I mean, I guess it is when you when you did your first upload of it. Yeah, there's a creation date. Oh, okay. Then yeah, should be able to sort by that then. Yeah, okay, so we're not quite going to make it. Although, maybe we will. Oh, no, we're not. 500, yeah. All right. We'll come pretty close. definitely come pretty close. Oh wow, I seriously underlofted this time. Oh, I did oh maybe I didn't. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Turns out Turns out I actually overlofted by a half a degree. Not bad at all. Cult of Dean's Beans, you should make an issue on the RO repository about the sock issue. Uh, the eccentricity thing is already fixed in programs. Or I guess actually RO cap, um, yeah, real is mobile, that's where that lives. Also, I have no idea why you're copying and pasting configs rather than writing module manager patches, but... Man, we're just not carrying enough helium, are we?
Okay, we're going to come darn close. Although, oops, I just realized I need to have a stop at stage on this. Which is stop at stage three. Oh, no, we actually have enough Delta V to do this. That's hilarious. Nice. As it happens, we uh, don't actually need the second solid kick motor because we could go to 850 by 150 or 160 actually and then yeah that's cool that's very cool maybe we just rolled really well had overperforming engines. You log somewhere the uh what your roles were, don't you? No. Okay. I mean, if you look at what the specific impulse actually is, that's one way of knowing. And you can look at the residuals remaining, and that will tell you what the residuals were. But Okay. Okay, so I declare myself happy with this as well. I'm going to sleep, by the way. Pretty All right. Bush. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I'll Thanks catch you later. Me. But... Later. Okay, there's those. Okay, our budget is still stupidly positive. Which means that... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, R&D is not completed yet. Yeah, then we'll be able to double our researchers. Okay, we just got a research increase. Yep, researcher efficiency is now up to 120%. So two months until that finishes, and then we can go ahead and start upgrading tracking station.
Oh, you know what? I should check what science experiments I have set on this thing. Good, I checked, because... Yeah, let's go with those. Okay, that expires the 1st of November. Expires October. All right, so we've got, we've got plenty of astronauts trained. Well, it's time to go to orbit. Perfect, it is August 1st, 1960. We're sending a human being to orbit. Okay. Why did it reset all the settings? Super annoying. Here we go. Power clear. And PVG, your better controller is doing weird roll thing. I wish this looked better. It looks so stupid.
That was an educated guess that worked out. Nailed my pitch program. Okay, we're down to just the core. Ah, uh, so the the launch escape system, as its name implies, is the way you get away from an exploding rocket. Uh, it's it's a tractor style escape system. Basically, it pulls the capsule away. We didn't need it, so we uh, staged it away when we separated the boosters. Insertion. Okay, we're now in orbit. Let's run all the experiments. We have to orbit for an hour and a half. <coughs> Excuse me, an hour and a half. We have supplies for a day. We're good. We Okay, it looks like we have a bunch of hours left on those experiments.
Okay, visual tracking is almost done. And we'll have completed three orbits. So, yeah, we'll perform Retrofire about here and come in over the Pacific. Okay. Line for retrofire. And there we go. G-loading is going to be pretty pretty severe on re-entry, but that's expected. Okay, and let's align your entry and discard the retro pack. Track the umbilical, discard. Okay, passing the Carmen line. Three percent of a G. What's going on? Why? Does it say full probe control and not control from her? I just noticed that. That's super weird. So RP1 is the career mod for Realism Overhaul, which makes all the parts and systems and stuff pretty realistic, like this being actual Mercury. Uh, and real solar system is the thing that changes the solar system.
Yeah, she's listed as a pilot. She's not randomly got turned into a tourist. So, I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, now it's showing limited crew control. Why is it showing limited crew control? Oh, because she blacked out. Yeah, the G's are pretty intense. Yeah, now it's back to not showing her as a control source. Super weird. Broke out. Okay. Main deployed reefed. Yeah, this at least is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the parachutes are shiny. <laughs> Pap! Yeah, the G-limits are inexact, although we did hit a pretty high sustain G-limit. What did we hit? Ah, huh. I have 10 Gs. Oh, I forgot to deploy the landing bag. Well, it doesn't really matter. All right. Success. Uh, it's on Master of Horror Capsules. Oh, I guess just KSP was lying about Max G's. Okay, she got a whole year and a half retirement increase. That's pretty cool. And check it out. Uh, got the little um, science icon there instead of the, the beaker. Fix that too. And... Got some good crew report. And we completed... First orbital flight crew. We got 200 applicants. Cool. All right, but we have no one, nowhere to actually stick them yet because R&D hasn't finished upgrading yet. So LC-14 is reconditioning and then we'll have the NAVSAT launch. But I am gonna call it quits there. That was a good and productive time. So thank you everybody for watching. I will catch you next time. Night.